Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. In this video, I want us to have a look at some remarks made by Rigathi Gashagwa today. Remarks that are going to form the basis of our analysis and discussion right now. I want to tell the media, you are telling us we will have problems ahead. Don't advise us on how to lead. Kenyans believe in us and they are important people. The only people who can correct us are Kenyans. Regarding a Shabwa, 15th January 2023. Thus today. So Rigadi is saying that it's the media creating the impression that 2023 is going to be a very tough year for Kenyans. That's what Rigadi is saying. Just some few days ago, Treasury CS Professor Njuguna Ndumu made it very clear but 2023 is going to be a very tough year economically for Kenyans. Listen to this before we continue. Cabinet Secretary Professor Njogon Andongo has warned Kenyans to brace themselves for tough times ahead, saying the country's financial crisis is rising to unimaginable levels. Speaking during the public hearings of the budget-making process, the Treasury boss also called for austerity measures in the ministries, including the suspension of any new development projects. Stephen Leto now reports. As the country kicks off its third quarter of the 2022-2023 financial year, Treasury is sounding an alarm warning Kenyans that tough times lies ahead. During a public hearing of the budget-making process that brought together stakeholders from the executive and the legislature, Treasury Cabinet Secretary Njuguna Ndungu told Kenyans to tighten their belts and that the country's economy is encountering financial turbulence. From the literature and all the things that I've read through, the outlook for 2023, 2023 is not looking very good. There are clear signals that it's going to be a tough year. But the global economy is one good example in terms of where we are going. 2023-2024, medium term uh, uh, discussions, emphasis will be on aggressive revenue mobilization. That includes policy measures to bring on board additional revenue. Yes. That was Treasury CS Professor Njunguna Dumu. And Numu made it very clear that having looked at all the available statistics, 2023 is going to be a very tough year economically for Kenyans. And from his full speech, he was even saying that they might be forced as a government to stop some ongoing projects. And from even that clip, he's also saying that they are actually going to try and broaden their revenue collection. And that he means taxes. So Rigadi is saying that it's the media creating that impression. But you are listening, rather you can listen from the treasurer himself saying 2023 is going to be a very tough year for Kenyans economically. In this video, I want us to dig deep into those remarks by Rigadi Gashagwa to see what they mean politically and why I believe Ruto's government is very confused and does not know where to start from, how to continue, where to stop. They are completely clueless about governance. And they are also not very honest with Kenyans. Before digging deep into the analysis, if you are watching us, but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Yes. From regard these remarks, it's very clear regarding is playing to the gallery. He is playing politics, and I'm seeing politics of this age. He's trying to cheat the masses because a good majority of the masses, especially the youths, are not very much well informed 
in terms of all these government lies and propaganda. So Rigathi might be trying to cheat that kind of a, a constituency. Mostly the youths are not well informed. And the remarks by Rigathi Gashagwa, it's very clear that Rigathi is contradicting the CS Treasury, Professor Njunguna Dungu. And looking at Ndungu, I personally believe that Ndungu might be talking the truth. Rigathi is clearly playing politics. And that's why I had some issues with James Orengo on William Ruto's visit to CIA yesterday, where James Orengo actually was detailing what William Ruto's government has offered the people of CIA. In my honest opinion, I felt that James Orengo was helping William Ruto's government advance their politics of deceit and propaganda. In fact, Orengo ought not to have actually highlighted the promises William Ruto has given to the Sia people. Let him wait first for the projects, or rather for Sia to receive those projects before highlighting on them. If you look at what happened in Homer Bay, there was uh, the, the commissioning or rather the launching of a municipal market and some housing units. That was what uh, highlighting and Governor Gladys Wanga did highlight that. In say yesterday, William Ruto only commissioned a blue economy research hub. That was the only development project Ruto commissioned yesterday in Sayre County. All those other ones were just promises. And from William Ruto's past track records, it's almost very certain and very clear that chances of the projects actually being fulfilled or being realized, chances are very slim. And that's why I still beg uh, as a new coalition and even leaders not to highlight so much on promises being made by William Ruto's government. They should only actually highlight the, the projects that have actually been commissioned or the projects that they have actually received, not the ones that have been promised. Back to Rigati Gashago, it's clear this is a confused government. A government either not honest with Kenyans or a government just continuing the politics of deceit. Because it's very clear that upon this government coming to power, life has been very difficult for Kenyans. And even in 2023, if you look at things progressively, life is only but going to be more difficult for Kenyans. In the, in the next about one week, children will be going back to school. From the fee structure, its clear fee has gone up. This government has done away with the subsidy. The fee subsidy was about 8,000, around 10,000 that previous government, or rather Uru Kenyatta's government was giving to, to children. Ruto's government has done away with that. So on that basis alone, life is going to be more difficult for Kenyans. Treasury CS is saying that they're going to broaden their revenue collection. And by saying that, he means taxes. So we are going to find a government that is going to really push Kenyans to the wall through taxes, something that maybe we have not been seeing. And it's also very unfortunate that at the same time, this is a government appointing very corrupt individuals to serve in the government. And that only means that co corruption in William Ruto's government might actually go up mm, than in any other government. Because previously, according to Auditor General's report, it has always been reported that Kenya loses about third of its annual budget to corruption. So in a situation where Ruto also appoints corrupt government officials or other corrupt individuals in his government, it's only commonsensical that corruption will shoot up or rather will go up. Instead of a third of Kenya losing a third of its annual budget to corruption, Kenya can even lose half of its annual budget to corruption. And then at the same time, that, that same, same government is taxing Kenyans more. So you are saying they are taxing Kenyans 
for some greedy and corrupt government officials to enrich themselves. And that's also very unfortunate. So listening to Rigathi Gashagwam and listening to William Ruto and generally listening to the government, it's clear this is a confused government, a government very clueless on governance. And this is why I always maintain here that Ruto and his team were not prepared to rule. They, they are actually surprised that they are now the government. They were not ready, not prepared to rule. And that's why I believe Kenyans should not take this government seriously on some of the promises the government is making. The government just trying to play on their psychology, promising something today and then not delivering on the promises. Mm. And you know, if they promise it today, it will sink in the mind, minds of Kenyans that the government has actually done that or will do that. Not knowing that those are just empty and false promises. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. Just as I did indicate when we were starting, if you are watching us, but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like, and to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you, God bless Kenya. Any other person who wants to support our forum, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or feel free to channel your support to the number. Let's meet in our next analysis.